the live stream. Travel Snacks is all about traveling, eating good food, being kind to one another, using your resources. I'm talking super fast. <laughs> and just um, maybe living a different type of a lifestyle. You might want to live in your car, van, truck, RV, tiny home, or something like that. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let me turn this up. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Whew. There was a couple technical difficulties getting started today. Uh, let me turn on my, or put my glasses on. And I'm trying to get situated here. But... I don't have the same stuff I had last week. Because I took a lot of stuff into my son's house. Okay. Oh, lots of comments already. Hey, Grant. Welcome. Hey, uh, Jeannie. I can't scroll back that far, so whoever said hello before... I see Chris Scott first in. Okay. Um, so, welcome, welcome. Um, Janine the Vegan. Awesome. Welcome. Uh, let's see. J1010. Hey, Janaya. How are you? Hey, Jane Gray. Mike Brady's in the house. It's good to be back. Sorry about my absence last week. I was stuck in the snow digging out. I should not have shoveled snow in Allison's direction. <laughs> Definitely not. Hey, Tanya. Uh, let's see. Hey, Kelly P. And Kylie Renee. We've got a hand up there for possible filled out. Some awesome questions for you. Awesome. Did yours have the auto lock setting on or try, keep trying to lock the door? Uh, I'm not sure. Hey, HDJKSA52. Hey, Reyes in the house. Let's see. Matthew, hey. Hey, Crazy Dog Lovers UK. I'm glad you made it. Hey, Robert. And James is in the house. And let's see. Jacob. Hey, Jacob Wade and Alan Williams. Nomad Deluxe. Hey, Ned L. Shauna Walker. PJ's in the house. Uh, let's see. Hey, Randy. Cromer. Esther. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Hey, Michelle from, I'm in Fort Worth close by and I had to go get out to the sun today. Yes, it was miraculous. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so um, whew, I've been running around all day, not out in my van, but just running around getting stuff done in my son's house. And I was back and forth to the van taking stuff out and checking on things because uh, just for those of you that don't know, I am in Dallas, Texas. I did go through the winter storm 2021 of Texas. It was crazy. I don't really like to complain about stuff. Uh, it was an experience, and I'm glad I made it through, and there's still a lot of people suffering. So, uh, first of all, before we get started, throw a like on this live stream. That way YouTube knows you guys like the live streams. And if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. Then you'll know every time I upload a new video or we have these live streams. Um, so I'm going to say this probably a couple times throughout, but I am doing fine. It is cold, but it's not as cold as it was. So now I feel like <laughs> it's totally fine. Um, but there's still a lot of people in Texas uh, that don't have water, that don't have power, that pipes burst, that um, are, you know, not able to go back to their homes. Um, even a lot of the shelters have had water damage. There's a lot going on in not only Dallas, but in Houston and Austin and all kinds of like, uh, like so many parts of Texas. Um, so usually on these live streams, I give a little, you know, message about if you'd like to donate to the snack fund, how you can do it. Usually the snack fund goes for this channel so that I can stay on the road and try new experiences and restaurants and things and show you guys all the things that's going on but today if you'd like to donate to the snack fund um all the proceeds every dollar that comes in today is going to go directly to either an organization that's helping uh texans in need or specific individual families um that are in need in texas right now the one that i'm probably going to donate to is called mercy chefs they provide hot meals, like really good, nutritious, nice meals, not just like slop on a plate, but like really good meals um, to those in need, not only during disasters, but in general also. So 
um, our favorite moderator, Grant, who always like makes sure that everybody's staying in line in the chat and knows a lot of the answers to questions that people ask about me and the channel. Um, we chatted a little bit last night and I gave him a list of the places or ways you can donate. So whenever you're ready, Grant, you can put the links up there. There's going to be several links. So basically, let me just go over it real fast and then we'll get on with the you know regular live stream. This isn't going to be like a telethon. I'm not going to spend the whole time, you know, just pushing for money. It is what it is, is in terms of if you want to donate or you're able to donate, it's a blessing because every dollar counts. I know everybody always says that, but it really does. Like even if you think about like a gallon of water, it can be like a dollar. Um, for some of the people that are struggling. Um, so I'm not going to go through it the whole time. I'll do reminders and Grant will put up reminders. But you can um, do a donation through the little dollar sign that's under the chat. Um, that's a YouTube donation though. So they take 30%. So 30% of whatever you donate is going to be taken already. Um, you can donate to me at PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App. And again, all the proceeds for today's snack fund are all going to Mercy Chefs or individual Texans in need. There's a spreadsheet. Um, let's see. If you go to the last video I posted, which is uh, Texas Snowstorm 2021, in the description, there's a link for Mercy Chefs for all of my, um, you know, places where you can donate. And there's also that list of Texans in need. So if you want to donate to them directly, do so. If you want to donate to organizations directly, please do so. You don't have to donate on this live stream. Um, and if you donate to 501c3 organizations, uh, then it's tax deductible. So I'm just saying if you want to do it and it's easier to do it with me, I'm going to make a big lump donation. But you can also do it directly yourself and then that way you'll get the benefits of doing so. And also on next Saturday's live stream, I'll make an update of how much we raised. I'm going to calculate it because I already got some donations before the live stream. Um, so thank you to those of you who already donated. Grant kicked it off with a $20 donation. I got one from Christy uh, or Chris Scott. You guys know her as Chris in here. And there was somebody else that made a donation today. Uh, that was earlier today. Um, from uh, Julia. So thank you guys already. Um, today's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to go um, like I usually do shout outs per person, but there's, you know, I have a feeling that we're going to all rally together and do several donations. So throughout the live stream, I'll do some shout outs, but it's not going to be every person. Um, so let's see i think grant already posted the links um <laughs> how much advance notice did you have of the snow i would have given you it would have given you time to get gas and stock up a phone um we had i don't know because i don't watch the news and i don't really do that but that's something a lesson learned and i'm going to be making another video i already started recording the video I'm going to try to put it out tomorrow, but more than likely it's probably not going to go out till Monday. Um, I'm making a video about things I wish I would have known or things I would have done differently and how you can legitimately stay in your van or try to uh, during a winter storm. Um, because there's a lot of things that I've learned. There's a lot of... Um, I've received so many comments, so many comments uh, from a lot of you that have given tips, um, a lot of you live in super cold climates and you guys know how to handle these kinds of things. So I'm collecting, I'm compiling more like a list of things to do and things that now I've learned what I should have done. Um, and so there's going to be a video coming with all those tips in there. And one of those tips is to check the weather on a weekly basis. Um, that's something that I know I should be doing. Um, and I'm just getting started with my van journey, so it's something I'm going to be adding to my list of things. I have like a whole little checklist, like, you know, filling up with gas and checking my water and checking my battery levels and stuff like that. And checking the weather is going to be on that as well. So um, hopefully that answered your question a little bit. Um, hey, Shonda Walker. It was crazy frustrating and a bit scary. Yes. 
Uh, Amanda, hello from Utah. I love the snow, but I'm built for it. You're a strong woman. Thank you. Hey, Karen. Uh, Base heart. Uh, thank you. Okay, let's see. The acronym for slop on a plate is soap. It tastes like soap, too. <laughs> Did you fall under the massive power bill? No, you had power. So, uh, actually, that's a good question. And um, Chris Scott from on here, she sent me a message about a lot of Texans are going to start getting gigantic power bills because of all these other things going on. Um, but my son's power is wrapped into his rent or whatever. I don't really know because I don't like I don't live with him. Um, and he also does not have his bill on auto pay. Uh, but if you are a Texan and you pay for your power bill, you might want to turn the auto pay off because the bill might be super high. And then you can call and talk to the power company. I don't know what's going to happen or if that's going to do any good. But I think um, people are getting super surprised. Like one guy's bill was like $17,000. I was like, uh, no. It's like a super kick in the pants after a storm like this. Hey, Terry is tenacious. People's bills was $400 during storm. Yes. Uh, get out of Texas. Yes. Is singing in the shower while soaping down considered a soap opera? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Rick Benito. Hello from Windy Morongo Basin. Oh, Morongo. Oh, I know exactly where that is. Um, hey, AGTWNC. What's up? Uh, I'm from New York, lived in New England, now live in the Midwest. People start stocking up late autumn. Oh, yeah. Uh, stop out of pay and call. And uh, there was a, uh, an attorney. Oh, okay. How much snow did y'all end up getting? I don't know. Hey, Tennille. I don't know. Um, I didn't really measure, but it was uh, probably like six inches. It wasn't like, but the thing is, it wasn't like the powdery snow, like the soft powdery snow. It was more like compacted ice so it wasn't like there was parts where it was like you could pick it up and throw it and stuff but mostly it was just like really thick ice and it was not pleasant uh were my son's pipes okay yes his pipes are okay his community uh his apartment com complex community was great like before it even started they had put up these signs on the ground and they had left messages for them and stuff saying like leave your um faucet like cracked a little bit so it can drip um and yeah they and so they warned all the residents ahead of time so his pipes are okay um we've been boiling water we're not in an area that has like a code red or anything for that but just on the safe side we've been boiling water um because why not because i don't want to get contaminated um and so we've been filling up the ice tray with boiled water and water from the, the sink or boiling it and stuff like that. So I know there's a lot of communities that have had contamination. Uh, I'm in Michigan, but it could happen here too. Yes, for sure. I was putting an LED lights in my truck somehow killed it. Oh no. Hey, Fosman 707, the diesel heater works. Yes, it does work. The power company can do that legally. Can they? I don't know. Sorry, the diesel heater works. Yes. Everything about putting two in there. If you ever go to any such cold place ever get um, are you asking if I could put two heaters? I mean, I don't think I have space for two heaters, but if you had a bigger van, you probably could. Hey, Benny Tonk, 2523, Frisco, Texas. Hope you're staying warm. Hey, crazy dog lovers. I think I already said hi to you, but if not, hello again. <laughs> Ella from Midlands, UK. Have loved binge watching all your videos. Please stay safe and keep up. The great. Thank you so much. Trying to talk in text. <laughs> it's all good. Someone with 17,000 power bill better go outside and make sure that aren't any extension. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, better late than never. Hey, Felicity. Good management. Yes, from your own residence. Would you ever put in another diesel heater if you ever are around that kind of quote? Yes, I highly recommend a diesel heater. Um, actually, I need to start it. Um because I haven't started it in a couple days. So actually while we're talking, I'm going to, oh man, I got to push the curtain back. Hold on a second, but I don't want this thing to move. Hold on. Stay with me. Oh.
Okay, everything is defrosting right now. Um, like, all the snow and ice that was on my solar panels, and there was, like, a bunch of ice that had, like, got on the bumper and froze up under the bumper. And so it was just, like, pouring, dripping today because it was sunny. Um, so, and then I looked under my bed to, like, check on my water tank. Um, hold on, let me get comfortable. I'm trying to get situated here. Um, and then, what was I saying? I went and I looked under my bed and my, the little pipe that's like goes to my water filler upper, it's frozen. It's like just a little tube of ice. So I'm waiting for that to thaw out. Um, but I want to run my diesel heater right now to make sure it's, I filled it up. Um, so I have full diesel, but you guys had a lot of great tips. So I'm going to be compiling those. Uh, hey, win win, my friend. Glad you're okay and say thank you. Do you have room for a second diesel tank in case you're stuck and can't get to? Because, um, so the diesel tank that came with the diesel heater is actually screwed into the side of like a piece of wood on next to my fridge, um, so it's mounted. But I could certainly go to you know somewhere and just get a a tank, you know, like to just fill it up, and I'm probably gonna do that, which is another tip that's gonna be in the video. Uh, where, <laughs> where a sparklehead crack horse. <laughs> I love the, 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 the side names that you guys have. She's sitting in the front seat, but I don't want to get back up again. Um, was there ever a time you had to sleep two or more people in the van? So far, no, it's only just been me. Uh, what's up everyone? Hey Mimi, happy Saturday. How can your hair look that pretty? Because I finally took a shower and, uh, since I'm at my son's house still, I actually blow dried my hair and popped a little curl on my curling iron. So, um, that's what's going on. But you know, I got, I haven't had it colored since I left California. So you could see the little sparklers coming through. It's going to just be like that. Cause I don't have anybody on the road to do that, but thank you for the compliment. I'm not sure if I asked, but what do you do for Wi-Fi? Um, so I usually don't have Wi-Fi. Um, my son has Wi-Fi, so if I'm, you know, in his house, I use that. But usually I just use my Verizon data. And I have the unlimited plan, which so far it's working. But I had to get this iPad so that I can kind of, like, because, you know, even though you have unlimited, it's they can slow down the speeds. What is that? Loudest. I think it's the trash. Um, so I have my phone plan and then I have my iPad plan and so I think I have 50 gigs on each one so I use all 50 gigs if not more each month or at least since I've had it I hate but people say de-thaw <laughs> like the parking lot is de-thawing uh hey Maria Wilcox how are you um would you not be better to have your diesel heater fuel feed pipe go into your main van's fuel tank. That is how my diesel heater is fed. Well, my main, I don't know if this is what you're asking, but my main, my van is a regular gasoline van. It's not a diesel van. So, uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's a possibility. Dethaw means freeze, doesn't it? Dethaw? I don't know. What's the definition of dethaw? I guess that would mean opposite. Yes. So, did I say dethaw earlier? If I did, I didn't mean to, but yeah. Um, that's so weird. The state was so unprepared. I'm thankful for our power company to get right. Yes. Um, check your windsill, washer tank, and fluid. You can buy super low temp washer. Yes. So, one of the things, you guys had a lot, like a lot of you had great um, comments. Um, somebody was saying that I need to get, like, what, just in the future, I need to get diesel fuel that has some kind of gel in it or, or something to make so it doesn't freeze up or turn gelish. They make winter diesel, which I had no idea about. Um, and then somebody else was saying like, if I'm gonna get to, like a gas can, I should get a yellow one for diesel and a red one for regular gas. Something is popping. 
I don't know if it's my water line or if it's just this balloon that I've had in here since Valentine's Day. <laughs> and maybe it's just this balloon. It's been expanding and, uh, what, deinflating or whatever? Inflating and deinflating since it's been cold and hot and cold and hot. I'm surprised it still has, like, the, <laughs> the helium thing. I think it was just that because that was making me nervous. Um... Oh, so anyways, the point to whatever you were saying was I'm going to get, like, once I get ready to leave, I'm going to go to a mechanic and whatever, check my fluids and stuff. And maybe I'll just go to, like, O'Reilly's and have them do it. I don't know if they do that, but anyways, long story short, I'm going to make sure that they check the oil and check the washer fluid and all the fluids and stuff like that because I don't want to get driving and there's damage. Somebody was also saying, like, maybe I should get a stronger alternator. I don't know what kind of alternator I already have, but that might be a good idea depending on the cost because, you know, it's important. Do you have a storage unit for the rest of your stuff? I do not. And hey, karaoke dude, I don't have a storage unit. Um, I have just a few things at my parents' house. And at my parents' house, they basically just have all the, like, leftover parts from the van build. And then here at my son's house, I have left some of my mementos. Um, and now I'm going to be leaving some of the things I don't think I'm going to end up using. So I don't have a storage unit. I got rid of a lot of stuff. I figured if I had to pay for it, I wasn't going to keep it. Um, Mother Nature is on your side. She wanted to give your van build a stress test. And now you know your weak. Yes, definitely. And I need to seal some of these doors because it's not good. Um, never moving to Texas. <laughs> One more tip. Have a bag of kitty litter handy in case you get stuck in stuff. Yes, and that's another um, thing is uh, just my son had some just regular salt. And so I sprinkled it on this. He has stairs like going up and down to his apartment. And so I sprinkled it on there and that actually helped just that little bit. Okay, it's getting hot in here already. So I'm glad my heater's working. But I'm going to turn it off. Um, so praise God that it's working. But I didn't know about kitty litter. I didn't know that that was a thing that, um, does that like melt the ice or are you saying just to like get some traction? <laughs> no pets in the van. A three dog night <laughs> would take up all the room on the bed. One is the loneliest number, but on a positive note, joy to the world. <laughs> hey, I made, hey, Mama Mert, I made it to, at the start, I was very concerned about Allison being in Dallas until I saw her video. I am still concerned, but she is a strong woman. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, maybe it's unthaw. Unthaw? Thaw? Wasn't well, thaw when you, yeah, thawing is actually just thawing. So I don't think you need a thing in the front of it, but I don't know. Um... Let's see, are you going to see, oh, Robert, actually, this is on my list of things to talk about. So, um, for all of you guys that mentioned the movie Nomadland, I've had it on my list for a while and I was going to search it out, but I haven't had time, but I just got an alert that it is on Hulu. So if you have a Hulu, um, account, you can watch it for free. It's streaming now. So I'm going to be watching Nomadland probably two night after the stream. So I'm very excited about that. Um, also, I don't know all the rules, but um, I had uh, I had Verizon, and then I went over to a service called Visible, and then now I'm back on Verizon. And when I came back to Verizon, if you got their highest unlimited plan, they give you Hulu and Disney Plus for free. And so, it's great. So, um, there's a couple other things you get for free. I think you get <clears throat> you get Apple Music for free for a year. And some other stuff. But those are the things that was important to me. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm scrolling back because I lost my place. Yeah, different colored gas cans. Yellow and red is a good idea. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. We have 
frost-free cooling fluid, I think it's called, and for our cars and trucks in the winter. It, so it does, Yes, I think that's what they were talking about. Sandra, hey Sandra Montes from LA. I bet it's still warm in Los Angeles and California. Uh, yes, gel and the diesel. Okay. Uh, Don watched No Man Land. It was interesting. Okay, good. Um, thank you, Sandra. I'm glad you're watching. Glad to see you're safe, Allison. Now, are you ready to go where it's really... Yes. I'm going to be talking about my travel plan in just a minute. Um, Dwayne, hello. Uh, 140 amp alternator, $165. So, how do I know what I have already? <laughs> These are all the things I'm learning. But I'm writing this down, Dwayne. Um... What was it? 140 amp alternator. That's not bad. I thought it was going to be like $1,000. I don't know how much alternators are. But that's a good deal. Like, I don't know what I have now. So, I mean, I'm definitely up for getting a stronger alternator. I think that would be a good move for all the driving and stuff I'm going to be doing. Um, hey, Barbara. Um, hey, Miss Hurz. Does your diesel heater make a clicking sound? I've heard that's quite a... It does make a... It's like a ticking sound. It's it's like... It's not for... Okay, so I'm very sensitive to noises like dripping faucets and ticking, clocks ticking and stuff like that. But the diesel heater makes a ticking sound, but it's not... I don't know how to describe it. It, it, I don't know how to describe it, but it doesn't bother me. Like it doesn't, it's not to the point where I can't sleep. It's more of like a quiet ticking. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, um, but it's not super bad. Let's see. Kitty litter for traction. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. Hey, Michelle. Hey, you can learn to check all your fluids. I just checked mine and found an oil leak. I did two quart and waiting till Monday to see if I can find a, the leak. I'm a woman. Here we were. Hallelujah. Um, yeah, I'll probably do some YouTubing on that. Um, but I think I might be due for an oil change anyway. So if I am, I'm going to go get it done. But if not, I'll probably just check it myself. Uh, kitty litter and salt and a shovel don't want to get stuck. Oh, that's a good tip. A shovel. Um, water softener salt works great too, or more night uh, salt for salt. Oh, awesome. Get through the worst of it. Spring is coming. Spring roll would taste good right now. <laughs> yeah, I do love a good spring roll. And that's true. Like that's, that's the other thing is like, I don't want to, cause at first I was like, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to go get like a zero degree semi bag and like wool blankets and all the stuff that a lot of people told me to do from my other video when I talk about being warm in the car. Which, by the way, living in a car and living in a van is totally, totally different when it comes to cold. But that's a whole separate topic. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to... Then I was like, get a hold of yourself because I don't want to start buying all this stuff because then it's going to get too hot and I'm going to have all these warm things in my van. And I'm kind of concerned about the heat that's going to be in this van when it gets to be blazing summer heats. So, I don't know. But I do need to buy some things because it's still going to be cold for a little while. Um, let's see. I want to bring this thing forward, but I can't. Like, this is not... I'm going to have to get, like, a stand for this iPad. Because right now I have it sitting on one of these pillows and a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> but it's not comfortable because I'm trying to lean forward and scroll. Um... I don't know. Okay, let's see. They also mean is that you can get the bare basic cheap litter, I think. Oh, okay. How is my plant? Sadly, I think Alex died. Uh, I'm trying to restore her to glory, but I'm not a plant person. This was like my first plant, but she froze solid. And then I brought her in and you're not supposed to let the soil of an aloe plant get 
um, wet, like, like stay wet and moist. So she's been drying out, but her branches are just, they just fell limp. Um, I already had to prune one of the branches off, but there was like a baby shoot coming out. So I don't know if that's like they said, that's positive, but I don't know. I'm just sad because I'm going to try to revive her, but if not, I'll have to get a replacement. <laughs> Hey, this is the first time we had a hundred people watching. I just noticed it went, was a hundred and now it went back down, but that's exciting news. Also, we hit 24,000 subscribers. We're a little over 24,000. Like it's amazing. And I love all of you guys. Um, but also put a like on this if you haven't already. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to scroll back here. I'm just going to scoot up because this is annoying me. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jane says Nomad Land five stars. Ooh, awesome. Mike says it's thaw out. Yes. Uh, let's see. Do you enjoy live? Do I enjoy live chats? Yes, I love the live chats because I get to hang out with my snack pack. Hey, Dee Dee, glad you made it through the worst of it. Yes, me too. I think today it was like in the thirties or forties, and I was like, this is nothing. <laughs> Like right now, I'm just in my van with like, I just had to turn the heater off because I'm warm. Um, did your dad worry about you in the snow? Yes, my mom and dad were calling me like every day and they're like, are you okay? And remember I was saying that they were thinking about coming out and this was going to be the week they were going to be coming. Clearly they didn't come and thank God they didn't come out and they're not going to because it's just too cold. Um, what made you decide to want to do van life? Hey, go, go van. Um... That's a whole long story, and basically I just wanted to travel, and I didn't have a lot of money, so I first tried to live in the car, and then that was great, and then I got a van because there's more room. Hey, Red92, uh, you should 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 have headed south to Mexico before the snow hit to the heat. You got wheels, you can travel. Yes, and people, like, a lot of people have been saying that in the comments, but there's things that I'm trying to get done in the van, on the van, while I'm here at my son's house because I'm trying to work with tools and you know putting my trim up and stuff like that and I'm also waiting for my hard drive which I'm going to talk about that in a minute um and so it wasn't really it was an option but it wasn't really an option so I just had to tough it out I just watched it today on Hulu I don't feel like whistling a happy tune but enjoyed it a lot okay awesome anything Apple technology yuck <laughs> I have mixed feelings about Apple I think Apple takes advantage but they do make pretty good products that's questionable depending on who you are in terms of if you like androids and stuff still freezing in the east eight days till march <laughs> barbara's counting down probably the 140 being a conversion van okay hey paul delgado terry is tenacious my alternator was 225 okay that's still not bad though like for whatever reason i thought alternators were more um Jane Grey, white noise. It's, it's not even, it's, yeah, it's like, you know, it's like if you run like a space heater, but then there's like a little ticking, you know, but it's not like that loud. I don't know how to describe it. Um, what is the red bag behind you? Hanging? Oh, this is just like a scarf that I got for Valentine's day at the Dollar Tree. It's just like one long thing. And this winter thing happened like right it valentine's day and on so i never got to take down all my valentine stuff <laughs> so uh but i think it's it's cute so i'll leave it for a little bit um the ticking might be a sensor oh maybe they have a stronger alternator 255 amps for 309 okay i don't really know what i need i mean do i need that much I don't know. It's just like bigger is better or is it depend or like, what is it? Like, I don't, I don't really know. Probably something I should look into. It's on, <laughs> there's so many things on my list of things to look into though. Nomadland is pretty dark since it's the lady's friend's uh, story and she meets and associates with the nomad, several of which many of us watch. Oh, okay. Does that mean it's warmer in the car or the van? Um, Hey, Diane Cisneros. Um, it was warmer in my car, but also not like this van is a lot of more open air space, you know? So there's, you know, it's like I insulated the van, but it's, it's not going to be like a warm, comfy coat. It's a lot more room for air. 
So the car was warmer because I was just tucked away in the back seat and it, it, I was able to stay warm. Um, but also the van can be very warm when I put my heater on and also, um, it's just different. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just, it's just different. But I didn't have, I, I didn't mind, you know, being in the car because it was cold, but it was cozy. Shout out and prayers for everyone stuck in the cold. Yes. And that just reminds me, if you're just joining this live stream, um, if you'd like to make a donation to help any, uh, the people in Texas who are going through all the hard times with the storm, uh, you can donate to uh, either the little dollar sign under the chat. That's a YouTube donation. They take 30%, so I don't recommend that. But you can donate to my PayPal, my Venmo, my Cash App. Uh, or you can donate directly to, there's a list in, um, in the description of my last video of Texans who need help and some organizations. Um, all donations today, all donations today on February 20th, anything I receive today is all going to, um, I'm probably going to just donate all of it to Mercy Chefs and maybe some of it to, um, some individual Texas families that are in dire need right now, um, but all of it's going to go to help Texans in need. So any donations um, will go for that. And yes, prayers up for all the people that are still without power and water and that have had a lot of, you know, troubling times. Um, it was very sad because there, in the video, if you guys saw the video, uh, my son's friend came and picked us up so we could go to Target. And I saw people living in tents outside in the snow. But like, I don't, like that's, troubling that's troubling but there's there is there are organizations that are equipped to to handle like going out and serving in terms of like they have the equipment they have vehicles they have the like they have things that they're prepared to go out and help people in that capacity so that's why I'm donating um I've personally already donated but anything that comes from this live stream um, I'll be donating today. Um, let's see. Uh, one of it's one of, if not the most important thing for your vehicle is to keep the engine oil changed. Yes. I learned that on my last journey. Heavy duty floor mats under the tires for traction. Yes. I've heard that as well. It's so awesome that you're sharing your story with all the learning curves not taken out. Oh, <laughs> it's all learning curves over here, and I'm going to share them all because I think it's important for people to know what's really going on. Look into the 70s show. I forgot all who read that dad said, but it makes sense. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe get a 12-volt fan. Yeah, I'm, think I'm, I'm already compiling my list of things for when it gets hot. Um... Uh, so AGT, you're not supposed to really water aloe plants that much. There's, they like it dry. And as far as I know, I don't know. Cut the plant down to about half inch and put in the sun when it's, when it's out. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yes, don't forget the likes. Hey, T-Dot. What's up? Uh, let's see. Uh, all the matter is protective. Negative temps make 30 degrees like a heat wave. That's facts. Allison got that hair done. No, I didn't get my hair done. I just took a shower <laughs> and curled up a little bit. Uh, you seen the movie? They're gonna release Nomads focused on van life. Is that a separate movie, Grady? Like it's Nomad Land, and then there's a separate movie called Nomads. That'd be cool. Hey, Jackie. Uh, hey, Paolo Delgado. Did I already say hi to you? If I did, and I probably said Paul. <laughs> I don't know why. It's scrolling past. I mess up some names sometimes. Summer is almost here. True. Thank you. Um, Sandra, you're very creative with your intermission of encouraging us to click the like, subscribe, and make comments. I even enjoy that. Oh, awesome. I try to mix it up because, you know, when I'm watching videos and people are like, please like, subscribe, and notifications, all I say is always the same. It's always the same. It's always the same. And I'm like, I'm already subscribed. So I'm like, okay. I want to make it at least creative so people that are already subscribed aren't bored. So I try to switch it up every time. Hey, Van Dwelling Brandon. Hey, I just got in here and I heard you say there's something ticking from your engine. I heard in your last video, if I'm not mistaken, it sounds like a lifter. Oh, no, no. There's not a ticking in the engine. 
Um, we were talking about my diesel heater. It has like a little tick and it's, I guess it's supposed to be there. It's not like something that's wrong with it. I don't think. Um, did you repair that leak from the roof and your van? I did repair the leak. Praise God before this storm. Um, yes, I did repair it. I used a lot of, um, silicone, uh, caulking, whatever stuff. Um, and Oh, first I put down like this, um, Gorilla seal, weather seal tape, and then I did the silicone stuff. Okay, I'm going to check my phone in a second. Um, I turn my microwave on and lose internet. Oh, dang. Woohoo, 114 watchers. You guys, this is great. I love all of you guys being here, and um, our community is very welcoming. The Snack Pack is the best group ever. So thank you guys for being here and thank you Snack Pack for being so warm and welcoming. Um, let's see. Hey Cynthia, ever since I started watching your channel, I have been so inspired to travel solo since my husband died. Oh no, several months ago. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that Cynthia. Uh, just take this time for your comfort and healing and you know, do whatever God calls you to do. If you're being called to travel, then take it one day at a time. The car is a carry-on and the van is a full-size suitcase. <laughs> That's cute, Felicity. That's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate. Can we donate directly to a family in need? One family gets all the donation I sent. Um, so I'm going to donate a large chunk to an organization called Mercy Chefs. They're an organization that feeds people like seven days a week, just generally, and especially in the disaster times. Um, and then there's... There is a, um, if you go on my last video in the description, I have a list of organizations and I also have a list. There's a, like a, a Google doc, a sheet that it lists individual families and you can just go on there and donate to them directly, which is great because it'll tell you like their name, a way you could do donate to them. And it has like a little short paragraph. It's a short paragraph that talks about like, um, I broke my arm. I, I had pipes burst. I'm eight months pregnant. I, you know, uh, have no power still. I have no water. I have two kids. We are struggling. We lost our home. It's like sad to read through them all. But then on the side, it'll tell you like, put, if you donated, you know, it, you put how much you donated so that other people know that that family's already been donated to. So you can get that list in the link of uh, in the description of my last video. So yes, please donate. You don't have to donate through me. I'm just saying that I'm going to make a big donation because a lot of times people just want to, you know, people just want to make it easy on themselves to just have one person do it. So, um, feel free to donate on your own. Um, and the, um, well, the two organizations that I really want to donate to is the Mercy Chefs and then the Stew Pot. They're both food related. My channel's food related, so I thought I would make it like a little more food related. It's something we always talk about a lot is, you know, um, food and, you know, it sucks when you're hungry. So I think people should have nutritious meals, a hot meal when there's times like this, especially when it's cold. Uh, let me check my phone. Uh, I'm going to read up some of these um Hey, Jay Sorgi sent in $20. Uh, Mike and Rhea sent in $25. Tanya Connolly paid $20. Um, and Jeannie, that's, uh, Jeannie is Armella Trucker Life, <laughs> sent $10. Thank you guys so much. This is awesome. Um, it's going to be great to be able to donate to some of these, um, families and, um, to get people hot meals right now. Um, I may go and help some of these organizations serve food, but I don't know yet because I have a lot of things to do, which I'm going to talk about next. Um, and also I want to make sure that, you know, it's safe to be driving on the roads right now. Cause I don't want to slide into somebody. Um, Hey, Lester Knight. Yay. 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 It's so cold in Texas that even Frosty the Dope Man who hangs out at 7-Eleven is staying inside. Probably true. It's keeping crime down. That's true. Um, hey, Nastex. God loves you. Yes, and he loves you too. I heard a little boy went to sleep without complaining, and when parents went to wake him up, he had pissed. Oh, no. That's so sad. I don't like sad stories like this. But these this is why I want to put all the snack fund donations to families, because 
I mean, the power went on for us after like two days, you know, and so there's people that are still without power. They have contaminated water. Um, it's, it's not good. It's not good. People aren't prepared for this in Texas. Um, let's see. Hey, Daphne. Prayers for all those in need. You are a very special young lady with a huge heart. Keep your... Thank you very much. That's very nice of you to say. I got schooled on watering pads. <laughs> I didn't know either. I had to look it up because I was so sad for Alex, my aloe vera plant. I thought your hair was frosted. I mean, it's probably frosted from that snow. Um, Alan, Allison's such an awesome person. You know what would be even more awesome if everyone clicked that like button. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, hey, Peter, are you saying you're from Scotland? Awesome. It was reported by the, oh no. Um, yeah, the tick is the primer for the fuel. It will keep ticking faster and slower depending on how high. Yes, that's basically what T dot said. That's how it is. It like ticks slow and fast, but it's not super annoying. Snack pack equals the best community on YouTube. Yes, indeed. Hey, journey of love and light. Chris says, may God send his Holy Spirit to strengthen and comfort the parents of this. Amen. Amen. Well, my bad. I was way off the mark. Um, Dwayne says, I'd go with the 145 alternator, 162.99. Oh, let me write that down. Part number. R one one two zero one one A part number. Okay, thank you. And that's O'Reilly. Yeah, I like O'Reilly's. I like O'Reilly's or Napa. AutoZone. But yeah, I have two of those diesel heaters. Have had them for three years now, and they're supposed to take tick just because of the design of the pump. The noise is just something you. Yeah, I'm already used to it. Um. I bought a, Chris said, I bought a USB mini swamp cooler for, oh, awesome. You love it. Is it work well? Uh, let's see. This hot pocket is way too hot. <laughs> um, just found your, hey, Christine Darnell, just found your channel a week ago and really enjoyed it. God bless. Thank you. Glad you're here. I read that some shelters were turning freezing people away because of social distancing rules. Um, I don't like to focus on the those things of people being turned away. I'm sure there were some shelters that were full. Um, I don't know about social distancing rules, but I also don't listen to the like news because they skew things heavily. I just know personally that there were so many shelters and organizations and people coming together and helping so many people. So I like to focus on the people that were helping. Um, I mean, I've been following so many people during this time. I'm not from Texas, um, but my son lives here. And so I just started to follow all these people and see what I could do to help and where I can donate and stuff like that. And I can just tell you, there's a lot of people, more people out there that are helping that are turning people away. Hit the like button. Yes, please. I want to make sure the money goes to a legit place. Didn't know if you knew a family in need. I personally don't live here, so I don't know. Um, but I did look up some a lot of organizations. And the ones that I want to donate to is the Mercy Chefs and the Stew Pot. And then that list of people. Um, yeah, I understand what you're saying, too. Because it's like you want the money to go to somebody or a family or whatever that's going to you know definitely need it. Um, I do like the Mercy Chefs. I checked out their website and stuff like that. And they've been around for a long time and they serve people seven days a week. And they also do this, you know, just normally like outside of, you know, a winter storm. So I like that it'll continue to go, um, at their always serving. Also, um, the, the Google sheet that I have listed that's for individual families, um, when I donate to some of the families, I'm probably not going to donate to like a lot of the families individually because anybody can add to that list. And you know, there's some people out there that are just probably jerks and probably adding fake information just to get cash monies. So, uh, I might donate a little bit to the individual families, but mostly I'm probably going to donate to the mercy chefs and the stew pot, which are 
organizations that serve people uh, meals. Um, let's see. Yes, thank you all for the donations. That's awesome. I sent $50 week. Don't have much today. Yes, no, definitely don't. And please don't feel obligated. It's just, you know, it's just if you if you can do it and if you if you feel called to give to help the people in need in Texas, it's, you know, I mean, there's not to be a jerk, but there's always a tragedy in the world. You know, they had the Australian fires and they have hurricanes and then they have uh, tsunamis and they have, uh, I mean, the list goes on. They have shootings. They have, I mean, it's, it's, it's on and on and on and on and on. So, you know, I'm, you know, there's, there's always something going on. So just give if you can give and if you can't give, that's okay too. Um, so it's all good. I appreciate those of you that can give and those who are just giving prayers. That's also great. Um, hey, win-win. Thank you for the $5. Great donation. I like that little emoji too. Oh, that's cute. We do a live chat of your cooking your first meal. Um, Jane, I'm, I'll probably do a video of it, but probably not a live chat because I, I don't know. <laughs> that's a lot. Cause I like to read the comments, comments as they scroll by. And if I'm cooking, I wouldn't be able to see you guys chatting. YouTube takes 30% of the do donations if done via chat. Yes, that's right. If if you do the donation under this live chat, YouTube takes 30%. This came from Boiled Water. Um, which I think is dumb, but what can you do? I like your live. It's like a podcast. Ooh, awesome. Oh, that's terrible, Terry. Hey, Homer McLean. Stay warm, young one. You're on the point guard in Texas right now. It is my own state long ago. There is an argument going on in Texas, perhaps. This snow is a message to all of them. Godspeed. Uh, thank you, Chris. I'm not supporting YouTube, so I will go with PayPal. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, let's see. Thanks, Grant, for um, sharing the link. Hey, Ron P. Moving into my van at the end of the month. Thank you for all your tips and ideas. Hope I can make it Portland and not as cold as Dallas. Oh, you can definitely make it, Ron. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. That's exciting. Hey, Ty. How are you? I'm good. Tanya had a glazed donut. Yum. Hey, Seth. How are you? Uh, Michelle, I'm from Cow Crowley, too, and came from Conroy. Coincidence. Oh, dang. I like agencies that do it year-round. Yes. My mind remembers to look for you live on Saturdays. The Lord has established your steps. Awesome. Thank you. Little Chris got GoFundMe peeps have figured that out, too. Yes. Like, a lot of those GoFundMes are low-key just money grabs. And you got to be careful. I mean, you know, it's whatever. Like, money comes and goes. I believe that God takes care of all that, but you know, you got to have discernment as well. So I try to be very con conscientious about where I put my money and where I spend my money and especially where I spend money that's been donated. Uh, so, you know, God bless any donations that come through at all times. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Fake Freedom got her coffee. Let's see. I heard trying to send this note to Texas. We're not going to talk about stuff like that. That's not good. Have you decided where you're going yet? Yes. And actually, I'm going to talk about that next. So my travel plan, um, this is um, this is what I'm. my plan is 
I had a lot of time to think about it sitting in my son's house just freezing. I was like, okay, you need to get it together. So I've really been trying to do a lot of things since I've been in Texas. I've been trying to fix up some of the stuff on my van. I've been trying to post videos. I've been trying to order a lot of things for the van. I've been doing repairs and stuff. And um, it could go on forever, you know. And so it's also very difficult because my son lives in an upstairs apartment. And I have to, you know, go up and down and track it up with tools and stuff. And I can't really plug in. It's like a whole situation. So I was like, listen to my son, Marcus. I was like, I need your help. I, I just really need your help. So... All next week, we're going to be spending trying to finish up any repairs that are like imperative on the van. On the van. And so my plan, my plan is that I am going to be leaving Texas on March 1st. So that's just a week away. Um, and I'm going to be heading south <laughs> to Florida. Uh, so I'm going to be stopping in, I think, Mississippi probably Alabama, but I'm not sure. And then I'm going to go straight to Florida, uh, because I need to be somewhere that's a little bit more warm. Um, I do have friends in Florida, uh, that I wanted to visit. And then from there, I'll probably start heading up, but I need it to be a little bit more warm so that I can finish up some of the stuff on the van. But I've been in Texas, you know, for quite a while. Um, and I've been waiting on my hard drive to get returned. And, uh, it hasn't so far, but I just got an email as this, um, let's see. Okay. I just wanted to read that because I just got this email and I didn't know if it was like what it was going to say. Um, but this is the email from data recovery for my hard drive. It says, dear valued customer, uh, we have successfully recovered your data. Can I take a moment? Can I just take a moment to praise God and thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We have finished the recovery of your data for your case. We are working on getting your data back to you. You will be receiving an email when your return media ships. Oh, this is a great day. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm having like a moment right now celebrate with me. I see you guys doing it. I, I see you guys celebrating with me. It's like, I just got this email as we're just talking. It's like, you know, it, it's, it's great because I have so much stuff on that, on that hard drive. Oh, this is like, I, I want to cry, but I'm not going to. Um, okay. So, okay. So after this live stream, I'm going to check in the tracking to see if like when they're going to ship it. So this might change what I just said depending on how long it takes for them to ship it back. If it's going to be like, if they're going to ship it back and it's going to be here like, you know, March 2nd or March 3rd, then I'm probably just going to wait until it gets back here. If they're going to ship it back and it's going to be like a week or two after March 1st, then I'll just have my son overnight it to me at one of my friend's house in Florida. So, um, that's the new plan. So you guys are here live in person when that happened. Oh, praise Jesus. This is a great, great moment. Um, let's see. I prefer to use cash as well, but sometimes it's impossible to do business with cash, like giving donations to people and not near me. Yes, I like to do cash as well. Um, or I like to give to people through Cash App or Venmo because they don't charge any fees. Uh, Sue. Hey, Sue. I'm living vicariously through you and your adventures. Thanks for sharing. I really enjoy your Key West. Oh, awesome. Yes. I want to go back to Key West, but I don't know if that's going to be in the cards. Uh, I don't want to say in the cards, but you know, I don't know if that's going to be on my this time journey. Um, Seth, how is the snow in Texas? I have a friend down there that said there is snow. How is it? I live in Wisconsin. So the snow just, I can't speak for all of Texas, but where I'm at in Dallas, uh, it's melted a lot. There's still snow on the ground, but this, the roads are starting to clear up and it's not as bad. Uh, be careful. Let's see. Ooh, Mimi garlic cheese curds. That sounds delicious. Yes. Terry is tenacious sending to local agencies. Yes. 
Texas is sunny now, 70 degrees by Wednesday. Yes. Um, what is the temperature? It's 54 degrees outside. 54 and the low is 39. So 54, I mean, that's a, that's a huge difference than what it was earlier in the week. Geoengineering has been going for decades. Cool poutine is hard to find in the U.S. I usually make my own in the kitchen. Yeah, I haven't really seen poutine very much in the U.S. Uh, Alan, do you have plans to travel to the Northeast? Um, yes. <laughs> I'm going to be going from Florida. And as it warms up, as, as the U.S. warms up, I'm going to be making my way. First, I'm going to go to Georgia because I have friends in Georgia. Then I'm going to go and I'm just going to mosey my way up the east coast all the way until i get to maine um because and that's going to be like a slow situation that's going to take me like months months because uh, i really want to explore the east coast because i haven't really and that's there's a lot of states that i haven't been to that i really want to experience and i know there's like a lot of good food and just great things and as the temperature rises i'm gonna keep rising up the coast let's see Okay. Safeway is supposed to carry cheese curds. Oh, I didn't know that. I went into the Safeway in Tacoma this morning, leaving work, but they didn't. Oh, I did think, Allison, if you carry two extra tanks of gas for your heater, you won't run out and come and come by Jacksonville. I will be going to Jacksonville, Seth. I will. I really wanted to do a meetup here in Dallas, but now I don't think I'm going to have time. But I probably will do a meetup in Jacksonville when I get there. So if anybody's in Florida or near enough to... What is happening here? If anybody's near enough to Jacksonville, I'll probably do a little meet up there, but I don't know yet. How are your sons handling the, the weather in Texas? So only one of my sons lives in Texas, but he likes it cold. It's just weird because we're from California, but he actually sleeps with his window open and his fan on. Even during this cold, I was like, you are crazy. Not when it was five degrees, but like even when it's like 30 degrees, he always sleeps with the window open. And I'm like, oh no, that's too cold. So he likes it cold. Um, so he didn't really have his out of a problem yes florida um my market is fries at kroger Cup. oh okay oh, i see all the congratulations about the hard drive yay data thank you jesus data saved yay allison here kroger's known as fred meyer oscar meyer's brother <laughs> hey amy cook praise the lord you and me are quite like okay like love yes hype uh that's freaking amazing yeehaw more build videos yes glad it worked out uh let's see praise god it has been a long wait i don't even know when they when i sent my hard drive in um but i had already th i have been thinking about this too i had a lot of time to think sitting there without no electricity um so i'm not going to go back to juice doing all full van build releases i'm going to probably do one van build release a week and then one regular release like of my travels or something fun or Dollar Tree hauls or food stuff um, because to be honest with you guys the van build editing is tedious and it's like so far in the past now it's kind of boring to me a little bit it's great because there's a lot of good information and it's cool to see like what we went through um, and I want to release it so that a lot of people have been asking me what I did for certain things a lot of people on here are building building vans as well so I want to share that but I'm not going to be doing all van build uh, once I get the data back. Um, uh, I'm so excited about this, just getting the data back. Um, so I'll probably do one van build video a week and then something other. And then maybe I'm going to start adding a third one. But we'll see how my time is because it's already a lot to try to edit all the stuffs. Um, let's see. Glory to God. Yes. Back that separate. Oh, trust me, Dwayne. <laughs> I have a lot of plans for when I get that content back. Uh, I'm also going to be um, backing it up in multiple places and getting, I'm not even going to use that same drive. Like they're sending me a brand new, besides the data hard drive they're sending me back, they're also sending me another empty hard drive, like as a replacement. I'm not going to use it. Trust me. I'm getting a solid state drive. I'm going to get probably more than one of those bad boys. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord. Okay, I sent a WHV. Okay, awesome. Let's see. Is that you, Catherine? Is that you, Mama Mert? If that's you, $100, bam! I'm going to give all of you that's already donated so far, I'm going to give a giant shout out. Um, let's see. Let's give you guys... I'm just going to give like a big... Let's see. We'll do... He shoots. He And then a big hallelujah, hallelujah. And then, because Grant already gave a donation yesterday, I believe. Thank you guys so much for all the donations so far. It's been, you guys are just coming through and it's going to be such a reward to be able to help so many people. And, you know, it's like all these all these collection of monies, it really does help. It really, really does help because it doesn't take much to like when you're cooking in bulk, it doesn't take much to like dish out a lot of meals. And so even when you donate a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, it really, it really does add up. And a hundred dollars also really adds up. So thank you so much. Um, let's see. Oh. Uh, Rhea celebrating to uh, her laptop for us. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes, God is the best. Hey, Reginald, how are you? Uh, let's see. Glad to hear your roads are better. Yes, I haven't been driving around because I don't want to put anybody in danger. Um, thank God you are right. Yes, we have. 34, 37, 4 Fahrenheit. Oh, dang. That's freezing. Uh, let's see. Hey, Waylon, how are you? Praise God. Yes, indeed. I've never seen or had poutine. Crazy, huh? I never did until I went to Canada. And now it's just, I, I want to have it, but they don't really have it here in the U.S. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, NC is awesome. Yes. Yes, Georgia, let's meet up. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, Adventures of Miss Peach. How are you? Um, if you guys already follow Adventures of Miss Peach, uh, she's got a channel that she's growing right now. So check that out. And yeah, Maine is gorgeous and the people are so wonderful. I've heard, yeah, I'm so excited about the East Coast. I'm real close to the Finger Lakes. Awesome. I, I want to try to do as many meetups as possible along the journey. So I'll keep you guys posted about those. Hey, Daphne, um, how many kids do I have? I have two sons, 24 and 21. Although my 21 year old is about to be 22 next month. We do have a great God. I just want to say a side note because, you know, as a follower of God, even if my data was not restored, I would still say we have a great God. I would still rejoice in whatever I still have. It would have made me sad. I probably would have cried either way. But, um, you know, I mentally prepare myself for whatever God's will is. And I just am grateful that it went that way. But either way, you have to rejoice in the good and the bad. Okay. I'm so happy I found your channel. I so enjoyed it. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here. Pie management. Pie sounds really good right now, actually. <laughs> um, let's see. I have a cool van build I want to do if I get a chance to go. Oh, awesome. Yes, $100. Thank you, Mom Mert. 
Carrie, very ill with horrible hernia pain. Love you guys. And Allison, play a game for me. Go and do rest. Oh no, Terry is tenacious. Everybody say a prayer for Terry for her healing. Pray for comfort for you as well, Terry. And that sounds painful. <clears throat> hey, Doug Shannon. Wow, I thought you were in your 20s. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, awesome. Okay, yes, Mama Mert, thank you so much. It will go to the the good organizations. As far as I know, I mean, you know, you can never know 100% because we don't. I don't work for the organization, but I am going to donate to one that has been in business a long time and seems to help people seven days a week. You can't really, I mean, if you see them serving food to people seven days a week, then, you know, it's like your money's probably going to something good. Thank you all for your donations. Yes, thank you. Awesome, amazing music. Uh, we'll be camping in Maine in July, I hope. I live in New England and love it, but getting tired of the snow. Oh, yeah. I couldn't, yeah, I, I'm not meant for, like, living somewhere where it's constantly snowy. If this was a was Twitch, I have cool emotes I could post. Yes, um, Twitch has a lot of cool things, but, yeah, I don't know. Hey, Cassandra, how are you? Let's see. Hey, Bobby Warren. I don't get how to do cash apps or Venmo. Those are both um, apps on your phone. So you'd have to just download it from, if you have an iPhone, you'd go to the app store. And if you have an Android, you'd go to the Google Play store, I believe. And you just download it onto your phone. And basically it's just, I think you just link up your bank account. So you just, you know, you're able to just send money and people can send money to you just whatever like like if you go to a restaurant and your part of the bill was like 10 bucks you could just venmo somebody like your friend 10 bucks or cash up your friend 10 bucks or they can do to you as well for a couple of weeks in a row it has not gotten above 30 it's been like negative 25 or something like oh dang thanks for the shout out whoop, whoop. east coast will be awesome yes I want to travel with you guys. I'm a teacher. Oh, awesome. PayPal is easy. The others, I have no clue. I'm all... <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, Howard. Sorry, it's sunny and hot here at Arizona. 78 today. Had to turn on the air. Jeesh. Yes, prayers for Terry. God is good even in times of trouble. Amen. God never abandons you. Facts. I live in Los Angeles. It was hot and I had to turn on my air today. <laughs> Oh, man. Give the glory to God. Yes, indeed. All glory to God. If you have Jesus, you have all you need. Facts. Uh, you have even put money on your Cash App account and use it as a debit account. Yes, that's true, too. And also, um, Cash App has a credit card, like a, yeah, like a debit card or whatever, credit card, debit card thing that you could get for free. And then you can, you know, just have that card or whatever. <clears throat> Whoa, Daphne coming in with the $20. Look at that little shaker emoji that emoji emoji that's very cool uh thank you daphne and also i just got a, another donation from Dwayne for twenty dollars thank you guys so much this is going to be a great great donation to this organization or the couple don uh, organizations sorry if i'm keep covering the the uh, camera i'm still getting used to my ipad and the camera is like a little dot so i keep thinking it's over here but it's not um God is the best. To God be the glory. Amen. Yes, awesome. Um, okay, so we talked about my plan to leave Texas in about a week. I think, like, the things that are really imperative to get done is, like, finishing up the trim work, finishing up covering the back, these back wires, and I really need to seal my doors. Like, I really need to, because even when it rains, it, like, drips water into the the little entranceway on the side. Um, there's a leak in my back corner over here. It doesn't go into the van, but it's like, it's in when the door opens, there's like, there was like a thick sheet of ice inside the corner of the van. Um, so I need to seal all the doors very well. Also it's, it's loud when I drive. So I need to seal the, the driver's door. Um, and basically it's just, I need a bunch of rubber seal or whatever. Um, so those are the things that like really has to get done. There's just a lot of trim work that's things are, that are just open and I need to like seal it up. So other than that, all the extra, like 
decorating. I could do that stuff later. Um, and then like right before I leave, um, this should be kind of exciting for a lot of you been asking right before I leave, I'm going to have my son film the whole, film me showing you guys the whole van so that I can do like the van reveal video so that you guys can see all the stuff. Most of you have already kind of peeped it out or whatever, but I want to do like a legit, you know, van tour. So that'll be coming soonish. Um, let's see. Hey, Stacy and Bill's Adventures. Been enjoying it. Awesome. Thank you for being here. That's it. It sounds like you have a channel too. It sounds because uh, you have a cool like uh, little icon, your little avatar. So if you do, everybody check their channel out. If not, then I don't know. But when my cable and internet is out right now, I need to call Spectre. My phone is, oh, dang. Yeah, do that. Make sure. Take care. You can always watch the replay of this. In Florida, I had to turn AC on and now I'm under a throw blanket when the sun is setting. <laughs> It goes like that sometimes. I was just wondering, why do you think that you need a new alternator? I don't know if I need one, but a couple people had said like, I there's like a little dust stuff on my bed. <laughs> um, but a few people were like, you should really get a stronger alternator. So I don't know why. Like maybe I don't, I don't really know. How would you know if you need a, a new one or not? Hey, Molly C. Sorry, Miss Olivia, I had to... Oh, yeah. Oh, you had the tree, and I, I remember from this, from a storm, I think. Um, do I watch Marvel movies? I mean, yeah, I've, I've seen Marvel movies. Put some silicone on a rubber band so it, so it always will open. What, what part are you talking about, Jeannie? Put some silicone on the rubber band so it always will open. I have that snack time jingle stuck in my head. Oh, you know what's funny? A little like, little fun fact. Um, a couple people have been saying they've been singing the the little jingle at the beginning of my videos and at the end. And I was actually I was singing it this week. I was like snack time, and my son is like, I thought it was snack snack, and I was like, no, it's snack time. And he's like, what? I've been singing snack snack this whole time. And a couple people have been like. Oh, I thought it was snack snack. So do you guys think it's snack snack or snack time? What do you guys have been thinking it? I've been saying in the little jingle. Do you guys think it was snack snack or snack time? And that's funny that you're singing it because it, it's pretty catchy. Hey, Danny Calver. Working on a minivan to camper van for the spring. Oh, that's awesome. They told me a tech is coming out tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. Your van wouldn't start if you needed an alternator. Yeah. I, th I mean, I think my alternator is fine, but I'm wondering if like, if I do need like a stronger one because I've, you know, put so much more into the van. I don't know. Oh, the doors. Okay. Oh, okay. I know what you're saying. Okay. Thank you. Whoa, Nadia. Thank you so much for coming through with that Texas support. I'm just going to check my, um, my email as well. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. I just bought a used 2017 Toyota Prius. They told me it is possible to get 55 miles to the gallon in city. Pray that they weren't lying to me. It's a small hatchback, half electric, half gas. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think you probably will get good gas mileage on that. Molly, it was scary getting it off the house. I bet. Nobody hurt. Thank goodness. I'm feeling blessed by grace. Hallelujah. So cute with your glasses. Thank you. Tanya said snack, snack, snack. Tanil says snack time. Bill, Stacy and Bill's adventure snack time. Um, Randy says snack, snack. <laughs> HDJ said, I thought it was snack pack. I, we didn't have the snack pack at the time that I made that song. I made that song when I was in Argentina in a hotel room. And it was when I had just had a podcast. We didn't even have like a full YouTube channel. Cassandra says snack time. 
Now I need to go back and hear it again. You did a great job. Thank you. I think you should run that alternator until it gives you trouble. It was a conversion van. The alternator must is most likely strong due to all light. Okay. Good good point. I thought it was snack chat. <laughs> Tony says snack snack. Mike says snack snack. Jade says snack snack. So a lot of you thought it was snack snack. Oh, Grant says, I heard snack snack at first, but I hear snack time now. Now you guys are going to listen and you'll be like, oh, it's snack time. <laughs> Love YouTube getting lots of ideas and tips. We will use ours for some cross country and camping trips, but a lot of what we watch, we learn from on here. Oh, awesome. Hey, remember it's Danielle or Danny or Danny girl. Oh, okay. Or Danny girl vintage. Awesome. You're trying out a lot of different names on the YouTubes. Is it still freezing there? It's actually not freezing, Mark. It's like 54 degrees. I mean, it's it's a little nippy in here, but I'm not like, it, not enough, you know. I mean, the temperature is dropping. I can feel it. Like my hands are getting a little bit cold, but it's definitely not even close to what it was. Just watch your video on places to park and rest. A few good tips and ideas I didn't even think of. Oh, awesome. I still need to do the follow-up to that, which was how to find good parking in residential neighborhoods because I have a lot more tips on that. Um, but it's just a matter of time before I can get to all the video ideas I have. Please tell us that we have it wrong. Uh, add this to the long list of frequently misunderstood lyrics. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Jeannie says snack pack. Let's see. Seth, I have a 2013 Toyota Corolla. Uh, Corolla. <laughs> Corolla. I love Toyota so much. My car gets 40 miles per gallon on the highway. Toyotas are known for 300,000. Oof. That's awesome. AutoZone can test it for you free if you are. Oh, awesome. Mark says snack fact. <laughs> Dwayne says I thought it was snack chat. Um, Mike, I have a 2020 Toyota Corolla. Corolla hybrid and 55 miles per Sheesh, on the lower end. 65 miles. Dang. I thought it was snack pack. You need some vintage glass. Uh, I thought snack time. Okay. A rally test battery and alternator. Also. Okay, awesome. Oh, good. I'm glad it's warming up. Yes, me too. Stacy was giggling on the vid for females going potty in the vehicle. She always, She's always needing to stop. Hey, I understand that. I'm like so glad I have my little toilet in here. P.S. This might be too, TMI, but I had some liquids in the van when I had to leave the van. And when I went to go clean it out, it had like, you know, kind of solidified a little bit. And I'm like, that's not a good idea. So that's going to be another tip. If you have a toilet in your car or not car, but yeah, I guess you could have a little thing. Um, or in your van or whatever, make sure that you empty it at the start of a storm so that, you know, it doesn't do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, dang, too Fahrenheit in my caravan right now. That is so cold. How are you staying warm in there to decorate or wait? You're moving. That would be a mess. Yeah, I'm trying to, I, one of my kind of rules in this van is no glass um of course i have to have things that you know like when i have things like uh vinegar or not vinegar but like there's some some of the things that i have like food things like olive oil and i know you could put it in bottles but there's things that i have like so soy sauce i'm thinking of all the things that you probably could get in plastic but i already had these things but there's those kinds of glass things but i i have a rule of not buying anything with glass. So none of my plates are glass or my, you know, cups and stuff are all plastic. Um, so I'm really trying not to put anything in here that would crash and break. Snack snack. I just listened again and it still sounds like snack sack, but I'd recognize it anywhere. Awesome. Uh or out or spraying out the carburetor okay you should get similar mileage i think van life is going to become so popular that companies like ford is going to release van life mouth they should that would be awesome poopsicles <laughs> that's so gross <laughs> mike says poopsicles yuck <laughs> you guys are on the same brainwave 
Let's see. I am indoors and it's about 65. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Yeah, they are making a lot in plastic now. Yes. Good rule on the glass. Uh, oh, thank you, Diane, for the $14.99. I tried Cash App and PayPal, and PayPal said there was a problem, and the Cash App, I'm hesitant about giving my debit card. Okay, no problem. But awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to check this mail as well. And for those of you that just gave recently, let's give you a shout out. Let's give you... Thank you all that are donating to all the families in Texas. Um, all these donations, uh, I know that we've been on for a while now. And just to anyone that's just joined or joined recently onto the live stream, all the donations to the snack fund today, every dime that comes through is going to go towards um, Texas snowstorm relief. So it's probably going to go mostly to Mercy Chefs, which is an organization that provides hot meals for those in disasters, you know, or just especially not only in disasters, but especially during the week and stuff too. So, um, I think it's a good organization. Uh, feels like freezing though. <laughs> um, yep. I just went and listened to the song. Sounds like snack snack. How funny are the windmills still frozen? I don't know. What app is that that you have with the music? This is just called, it's like the longest name. It's called Hundreds of Buttons and Sounds. That's the name of the app. Karen's a snack time. Hooray. Oops, wrong. Oh, eight Fahrenheit. Still, that's still cold. What do you use to live stream? Um, this is just the YouTube live stream. That's it. And I'm on my iPad. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just using my iPad. Um, okay, what time is it? Let's see. Okay, so... Let me just check. Um, raise your hand if you were here on last Saturday's live stream. If you were here for the Valentine's Day live stream. Just put like a hand or a thumbs up or any emoji. I want to see like how many people. Ow. I know Tanya was here. <laughs> Grant was here. Jeannie. Mark. Felicity, Barbara, Mimi, roll call. I know a lot of you come on to the, the live streams consistently. Um, I need to hire someone to help me with my videos or lack of. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I like get my money built up like with uh, YouTube and stuff like that, I really do want to hire an editor um, because I would be able to put out so much, so many more videos if I had an editor, because it just takes me so long. Um, but that's in the works, like in the future, when I get a little more stabilized on the road. Yeah, or you, or even if you watch the replay, you could put an emoji. So thank you, Molly, for saying that. Yes, if you watch the replay or if you were part of the live stream, roll call. I'll call for a cinnamon roll. Hey, Betty, how are you? I tried a few videos. I am no good at it. Keep going if you want to do it. I need to get better at getting on the live streams. How do I know your videos are live? Seth, you if you hit the if you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell, it should send you an email alert when we're doing live streams. And it's and actually the live stream is always on Saturdays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. And I'm also going to be doing more live streams coming soon. Uh, let's see. I don't have emojis, but I was here. Awesome. Okay. I was here. I was here in spirit stuck in the snow. I'm trying to find a good editing program. Uh, I use Premiere Pro for my editing and I love it. Uh, let's see. I am so slow at editing in iMovie. Next video we are working on is for a solar panel and portable power. Oh, awesome. Um, Premiere Pro. I've, I've always used Premiere Pro and it's because my sons are both YouTubers and they always use Premiere Pro and they show me the basics and then from then on I just it's pretty intuitive so I liked it 
Um, you were hilarious and fun to watch. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, let's see. Hit all on the bell. Yes. Hit the notification smell, guys. And you are going to be my Lyft driving. And awesome. Hi. <laughs> okay. So the reason I was asking is because last week we talked about uh, crazy dating stories. We started talking about that. And it was a fun time. And so um, I would said that I was going to start doing a separate live stream called Late Night Snack where we're going to talk about, you know, it'll be like a little bit more personal. Like it'll be more about like, you know, things I've gone through. Not It'll still be about my travel because I live in a van, so it'll still be like that. But we'll talk about all these like other things. Um, so... We got on the topic of dating and you guys had some really great stories. And so I thought it would be a fun idea if we start doing crazy dating stories. And so I told you guys that I was going to create a separate email address so that you guys can submit your stories. So when I start the late night snack live streams, um, I'll be able to like, I don't know if I'll just pick one and then we'll just dissect it or if I'll pick a couple. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, but it is, it's going to be very fun. So if you guys have any crazy, crazy dating stories and if they include food or travel, that's even better. Um, send an email um, to, and here's the email address. It's story at allisonsharp.com. If one of you guys can type that in the chat, that'd be great. Alice, not Allison, story, S-T-O-R-Y at Allison Sharp. Dot com. If you have any crazy dating stories, um, that will be a fun time. And I'll be sharing my, thank you, Grant. And I'll be sharing my, some of my crazy dating stories as well. I'll be filtering those through. So, uh, when I start doing that live stream, I'll let you guys know, but I want to start collecting stories now so I can start organizing and it'll just be like, especially for those of us that are have been with the snack pack for a while we've started to form like a family like a community and it's a lot of the same people that come through and have like a lot of camaraderie and stuff and it's it'll be fun to like share some fun stuff so i think it'll be good to start with crazy dating stories because i think a lot of us have had those i know i have i'm subscribed with notification off for some reason i get the yeah sometimes seth the emails with youtube are wonky i don't know sometimes i don't get notifications from other channels that i'm um, subscribe to. So I don't know, but we do at the same time on Saturdays. So yeah, I'm going to show this to my passenger as you stream. Awesome. Maybe that's what I need. I use Pinnacle Studio. Okay. We'll try Premiere. It's a little costly, but honestly, if this is something you want to do full time, then get the, get the editing program. That's easiest because you know, it'll save you a lot of heartache. Um, the notification bell is not visible on my Android or Kindle. Only a, oh, okay. Let's see. I'll have to make up a pretend profile for this. Uh, okay, so anybody that submits a story, um, it's just going to be sent to my email address. I will not share the name of the sender. So it'll, like, if you send it from an email address that, ha that identifies you or if you want to sign your name to it, I'm the only one that's going to know. And first of all, I'm not a judgy person. And second of all, I believe in confidentiality. So if you want to share, feel free to share your name or not. But it's it's going to be anonymous. Unless you specifically say, I want you to share my name, I'm not going to share any names. So feel free to share your crazy dating stories. It's I'm not going to share anybody's name. I'm th I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to make up you know, like fake name, you know, like Ricky Ricardo or like, you know, like different character names. Like, I don't know. I can't think right now. Thank you, Felicity. She was happy to step in for me. Awesome. Uh, Jane, I have Android and the bells there. If you put vodka or alcohol in the toilet when you pee, it won't freeze. Hmm, interesting. I d like so. I have the little spray bottle um, in here that has half water, half white vinegar that I spray down. Like every time I empty my 
container that I do liquids in. Um, if I empty it out, I spray it down with the with the vinegar and water, and that little bottle froze. So that was that. And then I also have like um, like liquid dish detergent that you know after every couple empties, I squirt that in there and like rinse it out with water. Um, so that's how I kind of keep it clean. But I never heard about the vodka or alcohol. Maybe I'll try that. This definitely will be fun. And I want I want stories from men and women. This is not like send because I want to hear the man's perspective as well. Because we hear a lot from women. Like women, we're about it. We we'll share all of our details. But dudes, share share the real truth too. Don't just be making stuff up. Like share the real glad you made it through the cold. Yes. Hey Arizona Homestead Project. Good, I can tell you the time I went on a date with a killer. Still here to tell you. Oh my gosh, yes. I can't wait to hear all these stories. My dog eats her poop. Poopsicles. But it's... Uh, yeah, my son's dog likes to, you know, eat all kinds of things. And I've seen other dogs their poops. YouTube can be wonky for sure on notifications. Yeah. What time does live stream start? So I know for now. The live stream is... Yeah. What everybody is already saying. protect the source yes i will protect the source the story will be fun then yes yeah because i don't want anybody judging anybody honestly like we've all had stories we've all had stories and then that way i can share my stories too and some can be anonymous some i'll just tell you because i don't even care but some some will be anonymous and i won't share the name like whatever you whatever you write in that email i'm gonna read it except for your name um but like if you want to tell me a story about you and John, but you don't want me to say the name John, then change the name. Don't like, just write it the way you want me to talk about it because I'm going to read it and we'll dissect it. We'll go through it because it's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. Um, but you know, if your name is in the email address, I'm not going to read that. And if you sign your name at the end, I'm not going to read that too. So just, just, you know, don't include your name within the email because you know, but I'll, I'll cross it out when I'm reading it. So I'm just not going to reveal. Can't wait to hear the stories. Me too. I missed the, I missed last week live. That's okay. Um, we just talked about some of these stories and that's why I'm reminding this week, uh, that I created that email story at allisonsharp.com. So start submitting your crazy dating stories. And then when we start to do the first late night snack, live stream. I'll let you guys know. Mike Brady is a character name, so I am told, excuse me, Alice, my cat needs my attention. <laughs> when are the stories due? Anytime. I'm going to keep it going. We're going to keep doing this for a long time. So keep, keep the stories coming. Even if you have like, oh, another side note. If you have like 10 different dating stories, put them in separate emails, put them in separate emails and put the, um, put the title as crazy dating story. And then that way I'll know. I mean, that email is going to be just for that. So I guess it doesn't matter. But if you have, if you have separate dating stories, make them separate because I don't want to have to read through like a 10 page letter. It'll be like, well, back when I was 14, I dated this dude and then that didn't work out. So then I had at 18, I had another person and then that, I don't want to read all, I don't want to read all that. So just, they have to be individual stories, please. <laughs> uh, let's see. Being married almost 30 years kills it for us, but they will be fun to hear. Okay, no problem. You can even send in stories about, you know, married dating stories. I'll send you a story. Give me a day or two. No problem. Online dating craziness is so crazy. Every time Allison scrolls, I feel like she's about to poke me in the I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You were recommended during the storm. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Here's a story about a man named Brady. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Nothing controversial and no dating stories.
jumped off. What did I miss? T dot. We were just talking about crazy dating stories. So if you have any crazy dating stories, send. You can send them by email. I'm going to be reading them on a new live stream that's going to be called Late Night Snack, which I don't know if it's going to be at the same time every week. I think I'm just going to just jump on at times and we'll just go from there, but I don't know yet. Ooh, I could tell you some crazy apprehensions I made when I was LP. I don't know what that means. Let's see. How do tiny van life people... Tiny van life people date? I don't know. Are you talking about like just van life people? <clears throat> Chris, I've got to go as well. God bless you. Oh, God bless you too, Chris. Thank you for being here. Okay. Um, let's see what time is it. Okay. Um, oh, just got another donation from Mimi for $10. Thank you so much, Mimi. I appreciate your donation. And that will go to some Texans in need. How do I spell my name? A-L-L-I-S-O-N. Last name. S-H-A-R-P-E. Allison Sharp. Where are the games at? Yeah, we're about to do the games right now. I'll share some of mine. I don't know why I attract weirdos. <laughs> I think we all attract some kind of weirdos. Oh, oh, loss prevention. Okay, that sh that seems interesting too. But we're going to start with crazy dating stories first. Anyone can answer, but full-time in a van, the van. How do you do things like mail and bills in general, like car insurance? So for me, I have my mail still going to my parents' house and then... We talk, you know, fairly regularly, and then my mom will just open my mail and tell me what it is. Mostly it's junk, uh, and I pay pretty much, excuse me, and I pay pretty much everything online. Um, but, like, for example, my tags for my car or my van, they go to my parents' house. So they just mail it to me wherever I am. So, uh, like, for example, you can get mail sent to any post office. It'll just be, uh, it'll say, you'll put general delivery your name, like the per one person, whoever you are, and then the address of the post office where you are, if that makes sense. Um, let's see. Will everyone pray for my grandma, please? She's not. Oh, no, Jacob. Yeah, everybody put Jacob's grandma in their prayer circle because it's very hard. That was like one of the hardest times in my life when my Nana passed and was sick. So. Everybody pray for Jacob's grandma. Some good news on tech is on his, um, on his way. Oh, awesome. To fix your internets. My mom said I should write a book. Oh, then this should be great. Hey, Joseph. There are mail service out there also. Yes, that's true. Uh, weird. Uh, yeah, you can... Um, there's a lot of things you can do. You can become a resident of South Dakota and just by staying there like one night or whatever, and you can become a resident and get your mail sent there. And they do have like online virtual mail boxes where they'll take pictures of all your mail for you. Um, it's just that the harder things is like packages or things you need physically. And you, there are services that will mail you the things, but it'll just cost you a little bit more. And, oh, and the cable TV as well. Her name is Cindy. Okay, everybody pray for Cindy, Jacob's grandma. In the name of Jesus, God, let your will be done. Amen. Okay. Um, okay, so we talked about all the things that was on my list. So let's jump into some games. This week, uh, I have, let's see. I have one would you rather question and then one, like not even a what if question, but one question that we can talk about in a little bit more depth. Um, I've been in top chat all this time. Awesome. She's dizzy and can't keep her belt. Oh no. Hopefully she's going to be able to get some medical attention. Yes. Lifting and grace and mercy. Um, hello. I just found a shot. Hey, Casper. Welcome. Okay, so we're going to go with the um, the Would You Rather first. Tanya's ready. Um, and this one is going to be... Both of these are going to be cold weather related. Because I thought I would stay on theme um, for this week. So the Would You Rather question 
is um, if you were in a snowstorm. This is kind of specifically if you were like in a car or a vehicle or a van or whatever, but it could be if you were in your house too. But if you're in a snowstorm with no electricity or whatever, kind of like what happened this week, would you rather be in the snowstorm by yourself alone or with people or even one person who is annoying? Like a person that's like panicking and crying and just being like talkative all the time and just never stops talking and they're just annoying you. So would you rather be in a snowstorm by yourself or with someone that's super annoying? Not just a little annoying, like super annoying. Like they just won't stop talking. What do you think? Not, and I'm not saying like a snowstorm where you're going to die. Okay, we'll just take that off the table. It, like not a snowstorm where you're just like in death's door. I'm just talking about like a very cold situation. Like you just really like it's freezing, but you're not going to die. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, no, Bobby. I hope he fixes that. Awesome. Thank you. I would rather win. Okay, so Casper says, with people for sure. Dwayne says, oh, heck no, alone for sure. Um, definitely alone for Seth. Barbara says, by myself. Molly's by myself. Alone for Stacy and Bill. Tita, alone. Uh, Jeannie is by myself. Danny's by myself. Take in the super annoying survivor, says Tanya. Binge like alone. Alone definitely for Jacob. Janiah says, alone. Alone, done it many times. AGT, I'd rather be with someone freaking out. Okay. Um, Yasmin. Hey, Yasmin. And by myself for sure. Alone, says Dwayne. Cassandra says alone. Mimi says alone. I'd rather be with my wife in a snowstorm, even though she can be a little annoying. <laughs> hey, as long as you're keeping it real. Bobby says he will slap it, uh, swap it out for an... Oh, okay, good. Danny says, yeah, if the annoying person was stuck in a storm, I'd let them in. Oh, well, yeah, that's a different story. That's, but that's not, but, you know, this is not the question. Alone for sure. Yeah, see ya, Leo. <laughs> alone for sure. Annoying people should never be around me. I am a, lo a loner by nature anyway. Rhea agrees. I was alone since COVID started. I'm good being alone. Uh, though never really alone. I have the Lord who dwelleth, with, dwelleth within me. Hallelujah. Alone eating snacks, watching snack chats. <laughs> yes. I was in a snowstorm about 10 years ago, stuck in traffic for two hours. I had heat, but I would not have wanted an annoying person with me. All right. I'm not going to I'm not going to make you guys guess what I would choose. Uh, I'd have my wife with me, but she does not annoy me. Oh, that's sweet. Alone. Cause maybe I could be annoying. <laughs> that's good self-awareness though. Oh, also, I changed my mind. Oh, Danny changed her mind. Um, you guys should probably know that I would be alone. I can't. I, like, obviously, I'm not going to let somebody freeze out into the cold. But I'm saying, like, if I had a choice and somebody was super annoying and they could just be in their own space and I could be in my own space, hands down, I'd rather do it by myself because I like to just be calm. I'm, I'm not a freaker outer. Like, I don't. Like, I'm not a quick panic person. I'm a, a very, like, thoughtful, I think about things. And I'm like, okay, how am I going to get through this? You know, God's with me. You know, I like to be at peace and, like, really put it in God's hands. And if someone's just panicking and freaking out and crying and just being, like, a nutcase, it's, it's going to annoy me. Like, I'm going to have to, like, I don't even know what. But, no, I'd have to be alone because I, I just can't. I can't. I can't do it. Beats the alternative of someone driving you nuts or you them. True. I hope it works for you. This car and he phone number. Yes. I changed my mind. Alone, Tanya. Elsa would say alone with the Lord. Amen, Tita. <laughs> you called it. That's a hard one. Diane says by myself. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of God and the Holy Spirit dwelleth well in you? Yes. 
uh, Adventures of Miss Peach alone. Fake Freedom says amen. Told ya. <laughs> I would have fun with the annoying person. Oh, no, Daddy. I'd freak them out more. <laughs> oh, man. We could always eat the annoying person. Oh, dang. Grant gets rid of the annoying people. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Like, some people just, uh, like, the annoyance meter just rises. Like, I'm like, why are you freaking out, bro? Like, when people start freaking out, I'm like, calm down. You, nothing good is happening when you freak out. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, oh, almost missed it. Hi, I said, hey, Gina, how are you? I would have to tell them to take a chill pill. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, let's see. I love being alone, especially in nature. Oh, yeah, me too. With another person, even if they're panning, it gives you the strength to fight through any situation. It helps with keeping warm. I mean, that is one good point if if that person could shut up long enough you could <clears throat> excuse me you could cuddle and get body heat together but if they just won't stop talking it's not worth it chill pill is a good idea all right so that was the would you rather so i'd be like oh poop the ceiling is coming down <laughs> agt i lost this round no there's no winning or losing um but Let's see. I have bad nerves and that annoying person would make me tell at them that I would feel yell at them and then I'd feel bad. Yes. Duct tape might work. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to get like real like firm with that person. I'd be like, shit up, shut up, shut your mouth. I can't, I can't with you. Yeah. All the crazies are coming out today. We had a lot more people on this live stream than we've had before, but with that comes some people that are just out of control. So thank you, Grant, for being our moderator and doing such a great job at it. I have been so thirsty. I don't know if I'm dehydrated, but I am so, so thirsty. Damn, she should shut up like a bus. Duct tape, duct tape works on everything. It, if I was that situation with another person, I would film them tripping and make it an intervention, which could take hours passing the time. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Also, I guess I could film it for my channel and put it on there and then you guys could see how annoying the person was that I was with. Okay, awesome. Okay, so this next one is going to be, since we're on the cold theme, um, it's not really a what-if question, but last week we had started talking about Excuse me. I had just ate fish sticks before I came on this live stream. So now I'm burping up fish sticks, which is gross. And I haven't had fish sticks in like, I don't even know, years. But I saw them at the store. And before the power went out, I was like, let's just get something that we can easily put in the oven at my son's house. So we got fish sticks and like uh, tater tots and stuff like that. So we're just trying to finish up the fish sticks. So that's crazy. But um, okay, so... Last week we were talking and I mentioned that I was listening to a podcast, I think it was, and somebody mentioned garlic, black garlic ice cream. And now I'm on a mission to like try black garlic ice cream. Not a mission, but like I kind of want to find it and try it. And so I was thinking, I'd love to know what you guys' favorite ice cream is. And we might have talked about this before, but I'd like to know what your favorite ice cream is and what like... What are some flavors of ice cream that you think you might want to try? Like, can we be creative and think of new ice cream flavors? Or if you've had a weird ice cream flavor, like, what have you had that maybe I should try? Like, I know there's things like avocado ice cream, bacon ice cream, all these weird things. But, like, I do like a good ice cream. But have you guys had anything crazy or weird? Winter one should stay hydrated more than her dry. Oh, yeah, that's true, Barbara. I need to drink more water. Gross, Allison. <laughs> Burping fish sticks. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Dwayne says Rocky Road. I do like a good Rocky Road. Oh, vanilla. That's plain, but vanilla can be delicious. Yasmin, mint chocolate chip is one of my favorites. Oh, plum ice cream from Japan is the best. I've never had that. That sounds like one I need to try. 
mint chocolate chip, strawberry, and cappuccino ice cream. Oh, that's another one of my favorites is caught like Java chip or, or um, coffee ice cream. One of my favorites, mint chocolate chip and, and, um, coffee ice cream. Those are my favorites. Uh, let's see. Oh, green tea ice cream. Oh yeah, that's good. Non-dairy cookies and cream. Yeah, that's good too. I was in Texas and had Shinerbach ice. Oh, you, that's weird. I don't like beer, but that's interesting. That is interesting. I didn't know they had such a thing. Ben and Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough. Simple. All right, that's fair. I do like a good cookie dough. Love butter pecan, me too, but have been wanting lemon mint. I don't know if I've had lemon mint. That sounds very refreshing. Chocolate raspberry truffle from Brewster's is the best. Ooh, that sounds good. Oreo cookies, cream, ice cream, delicious. Yum. I have never tasted it, but have seen all black ice cream and have and have to try it. Yes. I don't know what is in the all black ice cream. I don't know if that's the black garlic or if it's something else, but I like to try stuff that's different. Dairy-free ice cream is fantastic. Yum. Fave. United Dairy Farmers Caramel Crunch or Caramel Cone has piece of... Oh, waffle cone, peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. That sounds delicious. Lemon. Yum. I do like a refreshing lemon ice cream. Pistachio ice cream is pretty good. I do like pistachio. Goat cheese beet swirl. Yeah, that's a winner, Grant, because I've never heard of that. I've never tried that. I don't even know if I like goat cheese. So I don't think I like beets, but that sounds interesting. Are you saying you've tried that or that's your favorite or that's interesting. Mike says, I've had garlic ice cream before, but not black garlic. It's not bad. Oh, interesting. Kroger brand Brookie. Oh, I haven't had that. That sounds good. Danny says, I like coffee. Yum. Banana pudding by Hershey's. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, coconut shrimp. That would be a delicious ice cream, I think. Well, except, well, the coconut part. Yeah, but shrimp. Maybe. That's interesting. You were like, next question, that's all. <laughs> um, also, caramel cookie crunch. Mm. Off topic, but pickled beets are fire. I've never had pickled beets. Grape nuts ice cream. Is that a thing? Is that a real thing? Because I do like grape nuts. I like, I like a little crunch on my ice cream, depending. Like, if I go to McDonald's and I get their... their um, their sundaes. I love their caramel sundae. And I put like so many peanuts on it and swirl it around. So it's like a crunchy goodness. I love it. I haven't had that in so long. It's getting cold in here. I gotta put my heater on. Just like that fast it got it got cold. Um I make the cappuccino ice cream. I just made some two gallons. Yum. What if I could make ice cream in my van? Probably today I could, or the last week I could have. I used to make my uh, ice cream chocolate chip, and then I became a diabetic. Oh, but I always have the memories. Oh, not a big fan of ice cream, but favorite is French vanilla. I do like a good French vanilla. UK breakfast, oat cakes with bacon and cheese. Google them. What? That sounds really good. We have a Magnum vegan classic ice cream. Ooh, I didn't know they had a vegan kind. Coconut, yum. Rhea says, Cherry Garcia, if she could eat it, but she says she can't eat it all. Yo, you got to try the Magnum ice cream. Expensive, but crazy good to your tongue. Yum. I've never tried it and never will. Okay, good. Yeah, that sounds a little uh, something to me because I don't really like beets. <laughs> Barbara, I am so hungry right now. Goat cheese is yummy. It's similar to cream cheese. Apparently, there's a lobster ice cream. I don't know about lobster. Like when I'm thinking about like fish, well, probably because I had fish sticks. I don't know if fish and ice cream, like dairy, but I mean like, cause I'm trying to like pair that together because like if you have like shrimp and grits, that could be creamy and ice cream is creamy, but I don't know if those flavors circle back around to ice cream being good, like sweet. Because coconut shrimp is kind of sweet. I guess it depends on how you'd make it, but I don't know. I don't know about the, I don't know about making like 
seafood into an ice cream. Oh, Moose Tracks is good. I've had mom, I've had mom, and I want to join the circus. It's got frosted animal. Cra oh, interesting. I do like those animal cracker cookie things. Hey, Robster. I almost went to Amazon to order ice cream. Is that even possible? I mean, if you have Amazon grocery delivery, you can. Grape nut ice cream is a real thing. Shane's of Maine is one company that, oh, I did not know that. I'm gonna have to try that. You can make ice cream anywhere. Okay, awesome. It takes two days to freeze. All right, well, I got the time. I have a little dash, the little dash ice cream maker. Oh, okay, it's mini. Is it like, what size is it? Like the size of like, a, like how big is it? Like the size of like a little rice cooker or? Amazon will ship just about anything. Just don't expect it to arrive frozen. <laughs> Actually, Amazon hasn't been delivering. That's another thing that's happened. I had ordered a few things prior to the freeze, and they just sent me a message. They're like, no. One thing, they're like, we lost your item. Like, literally sent me a message saying, we lost your item. I don't know how. And then the other one was like, we'll deliver it when we can. So they're not really delivering right now. Hey, for the love of Halloween. I've heard about herring ice cream. Don't even like the sound of it. That does not sound good. Hey, Ruru. Happy Tracks ice cream is the best. I don't think I've ever had a Happy Tracks ice cream. Oh, it's pint sized. Okay, I might do that. Come one, come all, and hit that like button. Yes, it makes a pint. Okay, that's cool. Pint's just enough for me. Actually, less than a pint's enough for me, but I mean, making a pint, that'd be kind of cool. Trying different ones, especially in the summer. The dash stuff is fun for sure. The waffle maker, we do uh, chaffles in the oven for keto. Oh, ca chaffles in oven for keto. Is that waffles or chaffles? Because I've never heard of a chaffle. What's a chaffle? Allison, is there an ice cream flavor you'd like to try? Um, well, I do want to try the black garlic ice cream. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> Have to make a travel snacks flavor. Ooh, that'd be interesting. It's made by, oh, okay, Bluebell, okay. I didn't know that. We do keto, so the Halo or Rebel fills are ice cream. Okay, I've had Halo. I, I, I like Halo, but I don't love Halo. Like, I don't think I'd purchase Halo again, but I've only had one flavor. So maybe I've just got the wrong flavor. And it's been a long time. Happy Tracks, sort of like Moose Tracks. Oh, okay, that's cool. Maple bacon ice cream, yummy. Oh, okay. Um, maybe one of you Canadians are going to know, but there's these places in Canada, and they do, like, maple, like, maple like a brunch maple thing in the snow and it's like the maples like on all these ice things and I've always wanted to do that but I would like to try to make maple bacon ice cream that would be good chocolate waffles Ooh, I've never had a chocolate waffle that sounds good showing love with the click yes uh, yes the mini dash waffle maker is good too. Oh, okay alone in a snowstorm <laughs> mama Mertz, I think a little behind on the thing Chaffle is just an egg cheese mixture made in a waffle maker for low carbs. Oh, I didn't know this. I did not know this. I'm, let's see, Halo's birthday cake flavor. Okay, I've never had, I don't think I've had that one. Or you can use Birch Bender's Keto Pancake Mix too if you do. I don't do keto, um, but I know a lot of people that do. I think you really, yeah. Halo is my favorite, but on keto it works. Yeah, like, yeah, if you're trying to do like modifications then it will definitely work in a pinch it has car caramel filled cups with fudge all oh, fudge ribbon swirl with vanilla that sounds delicious what's the name for soft ice cream a specific form soft serve uh a travel snacks flavor would be fun frozen maple syrup on snow yes we did that often as kids happy tracks to you until we meet again <laughs> 
Uh, you're from Michigan? Okay. Rabbit hole, chaffles, so many variations. Bonsai keto is our other... Oh, okay. My mom does keto. She lost almost 70 pounds. I know a lot of people that have done keto and lost a bunch of weight off of that. Sugaring off. Yes, that. The sugaring thing. I've always wanted to try that. Best mod for ice cream. Hershey's. Yum. Soft serve. Yes. I do like a good soft serve, too. I do. Um... I didn't really come up with a made-up flavor, but I wanted to see what you guys would say because you guys always have good ideas. Um, I still have the list of when we had one live stream where you guys gave a bunch of like weird food combinations, so I still have that list, and that's still a video that I plan on doing in the future. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to ask for even more weird combinations, but we'll see. We'll see. If I could ever get into Canada again, <laughs> then I would go do the sugaring off thing. Howdy from Florida. Yes, hope you're warming up. Yes, I am. Thank you, JC. Stacy and I are down over 100 pounds and I'm off my diabetes meds and it's, oh wow. That's awesome. After I leave here, I'm going to start getting back on my eating better. I'm going to start eating um, more fruits and vegetables, beans, and stuff like that. Fredericksburg has some wonderful pecan, butter pecan homemade. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it's, it feels good to like, you know, shed some of the pounds. Like right now I feel like really fluffy because I've been eating like a lot of crappy stuff. So once I leave and I start cooking in the van, I'm going to be probably feel a lot better, but I'm going to still be eating a lot of good food on the road, but I'd say 80% of the time I'll be just eating regular food in my van, just more healthful choices. Please try pickled beets. If I get a chance to, I will. I will. Like, I don't know where I'll find those, but I would try. I'll put it, I'll add it to my uh, list of things that I need to try. My stomach is growling. Shaved ice with maple syrup drizzled over. Yes. When you take off, you're going to have to do some of the time-lapse video. Yes, I will. Did you find it harder in the van to just be active? And I do. Well, in a sense, it's always hard because I spend a lot of time sitting and editing videos. Um, but just this week, again, another thing that me and my son did is I was telling him that I really need to like incorporate stretching a lot more. And my back has been super, super tight and my hip flexors are super tight. So like even when I walk for short distances, my back really hurts. So um, we've been working on some stretching and he's been showing me some stretching exercises um, that I can do in the van. Um, and also he pointed me out to this one YouTube channel called the Knees Over Toes Guy. Have you guys heard of him? And he's like just really super athletic and flexible. And he shows you ways to like maximize stretching and stuff like that um, but it's it's very important for me to start stretching because I'm pretty sure I'm doing a lot of damage to my back sitting so much uh, and so I really need to wake up every day with a good stretch and before I go to bed do a stretch because I sit a lot editing and that's not a good thing like that's another reason why I want to get a, an editor for my videos so that I don't have to spend as much time sitting around um, but all in due time uh, let's see. Carb Manager is the best food scanner. Just scan the barcode and it will tell you if it's good or not. That is cool, by the way. Awesome. Fluffy Snicker. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Has anyone had Bluebell's bubblegum? Oh, bubblegum ice cream, kind of weird, but if you like bubblegum, you'll get... As a kid, I used to like the bubblegum flavor, but as an adult, I tried it, like, years ago. And I couldn't get down with it anymore, but, like... I do like it if I'm in a, like a real sweetsy mood, but not typically. But I haven't had the Bluebell version. I know a lot of people do the 24 Fitness and stop often for the showers and workouts. So I have a Planet Fitness membership, um, and that's because I go there to shower. So um, once I get back on the road, I'll be going in there to shower. And then I usually go like an hour ahead of time to do, you know, a light workout. 
the Canadian border can't stay closed forever. I want poutine and Canadians want cheap gas. Facts. I need them to open the Canadian border so once I get to the top, oops, so once I get to the top of the East Coast, I can keep going into Canada. I need to lose, play, new, lose weight. Please help. There's so many things you can do to lose weight. It depends on what you feel you need to do. Like for me, I personally wouldn't do keto because I don't like to eat that much meat and dairy and like all the stuff that's mostly on the keto. Um, and I like carbs too much. So the thing that worked for me is the starch solution, um, loosely, you know, I don't follow it specifically, but I eat more carb stuff, like more calorie dense, um, stuff like potatoes, beans, legumes, vegetables, fruits, and water. Um, but everybody's body is different and everybody just do whatever, do whatever works best for you. Cause I know that people have had success with a lot of different things. <laughs> oh man. One dislike. It cracks me up when there's a dislike on here. For the pain, CBD or THC ointment is amazing as we age, lack of movement is detrimental. You have to train your core. That's the part that holds you. Yes, I know. You need the shoulder brace. It stops you from, I don't know what that's, Dilu. Yes, carb manager is awesome. I use it, the free version from Baltimore, Maryland. Sorry to hear about the Texas and other states. Sweet. Thank you, Morris Mitchell. Nothing but love up here and all the delight. Yes, thank you. Homemade vanilla cookies and cream and banana pudding ice cream from Bluebell is the triple yum. I do like a good fresh banana ice cream. I remember Jack LePayne, <laughs> the exercise guru who almost lived forever. He made it to 96 and could out exercise everyone. Jack LaLanne, yes. Problem one that was banned. I was working out in my terrace and now it's raining. Oh man. Jack LaLanne, yes. He was great. Majority rules right now, at least in here. You should drive to Alaska. and I, That's one of, that's on my list, Seth. Um, so, not this year, but maybe next year, next summer. Like, go at the warmest time and just travel up and stay there for a little while and then come back down. That would be awesome. I just slow down on my eating. I am a lightweight anyways. 140. When I hit 145, I feel heavy and slow down on the eating. Yeah. So, I mentioned it last week when my face is looking real puffy like when my face starts getting fatter i'm like okay you overdid it and you need to calm yourself down so i've been feeling like not great so i need to get back to uh, eating more healthful foods because i've been eating a lot of junk since i've been here um i'm here in ontario canada and we are enjoying the snow and the cold all oh, dang you need the posture corrector. It stops you from slouching. Also try laying on a flat surface once in a while. I'm typing on my tablet. My, oh, it's all good. Yeah, I need, I just need to get up more often and I need to like, cause I really get focused on my editing cause it takes hours upon hours. And I need to set an alarm or something and remind myself like, get up, go walk around. Like one of my goals was to walk a mile a day. And like, it's, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but like when I get into my editing mode and when I get into my like trying to film things mode and like planning mode, I'm almost just sitting here like working, working, working. And I'm like, oh, it's dark now. So also another thing I can't wait for is when the time changes and it starts to stay lighter later then I can, you know, walk a little bit later. Notice it's slimmer this week though. You think? Oh, thank you, Molly. But I don't know. Like I feel like real puffy. <laughs> so... I need to do something different. Think of your health. Yes, definitely. All right, so we have hit our over two hours. Um, so thank you truly, truly to all of you that have sent donations in uh, today on the live stream. All the donations will go to the Mercy Chefs organization or some families in need. And uh, that will go to help Texans to get some help during this very freezing time and people have been suffering with all the you know power outages and um, water damage and contaminated water so thank you guys so so much for donating thank you guys for being here thank you guys for all the prayers all the support for everyone whose families are ill or people that are going through things um, people that are sick right now 
Um, thank you guys for being here with me when I got the good news about my hard drive. That was like such a joy and a blessing. Thank you for all your prayers and encouragement through this week. Um, you guys are wonderful. I do truly appreciate all of you guys so much. And I know you guys are going to have a blessed week. And send in your, your da crazy dating stories so I can start compiling them. Um, and next week, on uh, next Saturday, I'll tell you how much we raised for the Texas Relief. So have a great week and weekend. And until next time, bye for now. I'm just reading the comments before I shut it down. Because once I shut it down, I can't read it anymore. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. All right. Have a great night, you guys. Bye.